how do I keep it in my head? Oh, well, okay. Um, do you map it out? Oh, yeah. Like, okay. Do you, you, want to, you want to know how I do this? Yeah, I want okay. to So, first of all, I have an incredible group of people on my creative team. Let's be clear about that. So, my associate directors, my associate choreographers, that some of them I've worked for a long time. Um, how big is the team? It's... It varies. For um, Chicago. How big was the team for Chicago? Uh, I had an associate director, associate choreographer, an assistant choreographer, uh, two dance captains, six wings. So it's big. Like it, but I don't like a big team. I don't, I don't need that. I, I, I just have like phenomenal people. And people that anticipate what I will probably do... Um, they have a lot of you know authority in the room to be able to move things forward. They talk to my design teams. We're a team, you know. We're and and we we spend a lot of time talking about the show. So and do you delegate parts of the show or no. everybody? Here's Donna's vision and the and then they're working to bring well, that. If it, maybe we should start from the beginning of a show. If it's a musical, play is very different. A musical has way more moving parts. So. A musical, <clears throat> you know, I mostly do book musicals, so I approach it exactly the same as a play, except I have these other elements that also have to come into play. Musicals and with a music like Chicago, how far in advance do you and your team, a year before first day of rehearsal? More so for me to get the rights, so it would be a year and a half, you get the rights, and right. then we start to think about it. The first thing that happens is, you know, I we, we look at the script, and the first person involved would be my set designer. That's the very first step. And a set designer, you know, they would come in. And I really recommend that that is, that's often now I find it's too, it's late when set designers are involved. They're a huge collaborator for you as a director. And, and have your set designer with you because what they give you is your playground. Right. We all do so much better with boundaries creatively. And, you know, I want to know, this is what I've got? Yes. Great. This is the possibilities? Amazing. It is my favorite part of this process, is to start with going, okay, let's go through the show. And here's what I'm thinking. I've got some ideas. They're going to come back with ideas. The next thing that will happen is that set designer will build some of what they call a little little maquette. You know, it's a, just a little set, not the, not the fancy one yet, but just a little one going, okay, this is, is this the idea? Are we thinking, yeah, okay. We haven't even talked about budgeting. Don't even go there yet. We just kind of dream and go, okay, this would be so cool. We'll do this. We know the space really well. Let's say let's say it's somewhere, let's say it's Stratford. The thrust stage is going to be different than a proscenium. And we do that. The next thing that happens is I, we start to have costumes and thinking about how that world, because the costumes, sometimes, you know, they're front and center especially in a place like the, thr the, the, the thrust stage where it's probably a fixed set. There's no fly floor in the festival stage. There's no wings. Everything happens in front of the audience. So I, when I'm developing a show on that stage, I have to think how the stage, the, the set's going to move. So we have a year ahead of time. Yeah. So you've got your set designer. Costumes, Here comes your costume. And are we, are we at six months now? Or no, are we're we? at eight. We're at eight months when yeah. all those elements are yeah. there. I'm, I'm going to start casting. And how much of the show in Donna has, is head is ta is establishing itself? At that point, uh, pretty fully. Pretty, pretty fully. fully. So here, here's the thing. Every time I talk to a creative collaborator on that team, every time I talk about the show, I learn more about the show when I say it out loud. I think it's so important for a director to just talk about their show as much as possible. Talk to your casting director. This is what I'm thinking. The, you know, so casting is a huge element for this. And, and then, you know, if I, I'm, I often direct and choreograph, so I talk to myself of how, you know, and I bring in my team. And choreography is a different part of my brain. And I put that in the development of the show. I need to physically see what the show is going to look like. Then we start to move into how it will move. Choreography, I tend to do about three months out, and I start that process, but most of the choreography for me is done in my head. I leave lots of space for an actor to come in, a dancer to come in and have thoughts and ideas, but dancers don't want to stand there. You know, they really want to kind of start something, and I'm really not that good at, you know, I like to see something, then I can comment on it. So I like to see something, I try stuff pretty quickly.